Uh, welcome back to the Scheme and the Dreaming Pod. The haters won't tell you that I'm fighting through a tummy ache today. The haters also won't tell you that this is our 100th episode. It is. Of this up-and-coming podcast at best. Still up-and-coming. <laughs> Still up-and-coming. One day, we might get But there. first, you gotta get it up to come, you know? True. <laughs> That's my issue. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Uh, you wanna talk about hockey, huh? Uh, I just had one thing to say about... Uh, Jack Eichel winning it. He quit on Buffalo and he went to rehab. So he's quit twice in his life. Yeah, he is a quitter. He shouldn't be rewarded. Fuck Gary Batman. No, he doesn't deserve to win. I don't ever agree with Dana White, but I do agree. Hockey doesn't know how to market at all. Them and baseball are probably the two worst. Baseball's way worse. Can't they not even like put like clips? They don't want clips on Twitter and that. Yeah, they don't want that for hockey at all. And it's got to be crazy that in baseball, that the two best players in baseball, arguably... Are on the are, same team that suck. Yeah, that are terrible every year. Yeah. he Otani leads. He's tied for the lead in home runs, and he's second in strikeouts for pitchers. And you wouldn't know that unless no. you follow baseball. Like No, because they don't post the stats. Nope. They don't do anything. Could give a shit. And, you know, it's crazy, too. They play in Los Angeles, right? Yeah, like one of the biggest cities. Probably the second biggest market in baseball. Doesn't make sense. No. Nope. And I do hate the Yankees rule that you have to be clean shaven. Yeah, that one's stupid. I've been Did betting see... on them a lot, but I'm still not a fan of the Yankees. <laughs> the one bat boy in Cleveland had like a soul patch going. Uh-huh. And he was wearing Yankee pinstripes because you like, you get signed like the visiting team's club. Uh-huh. And Michael K was like throwing a fucking fit about how long that dude's hair was and how he shouldn't be wearing that stuff. It feels racist to me. It's like kind of like almost Nazi, isn't it? Like yeah, like you have to look this way to be able to play for our team. Yeah, but they just throw like boatloads of money at you to make. Yeah, I mean, play. I would too. They give you that's enough to afford a good razor. Yeah, but I don't think I would. You want still wouldn't? Well, I've seen how you look clean shaven. It, it's something that nobody should see. I look pretty good when I was like seventeen, clean shaven. Yeah, but twenty five now, you know, your <laughs> asshole's a mess. I don't think your body's I, falling apart. You need a beard to hold it together. I do need a beard. I think a beard just symbolizes everything. Like right now, it's a little bushy. I'm a fucking ginger now. Yeah, you're getting redder. Like I'm a full. Like your face too. Like everything about me is red. My yeah. skin, my skin red. You have like permanent chicken pox. <laughs> <laughs> you're like turning into a hemorrhoid. <laughs> There's the title of the episode: permanent chi- permanent chicken pox. There you go. Um, but what is it? Why am I so fucking red? Dude, I like at this point in your life, look I would stop head. asking why and just ride it out till the till the ride ends. I looked you know? into the camera and I wanted to bully myself. Yeah. Speaking of bullying, so this is what I wanted to bring up. So I watched a true crime documentary uh-huh. on uh, the Tampa Bay serial killer. I forgot. John... John Bob something? I don't know. Oh, two first names. Yeah, John Bob Long, I think his name was. All right, he made up for it with the last name. Yeah, it's a good name. But he, uh, so he was born, like, I'm going to ignore every other part of this documentary and all the shit he did. Okay. Just to mention the fact that he was born with an extra X chromosome. chromosome. So he had, like, more estrogen in his body. Oh, okay. So he had titties. And he used to get the shit bullied out of him, and he had to get breast reduction surgery. <laughs> it's a real condition. That was his origin story. Yeah. So he, so he became like he. So he hates women, right? Like all he did was kill like prostitutes and shit. Yeah. And it's because he had to get a breast reduction surgery because he had titties. How old was he when he got it? He, he was like high school, high school age, like high, middle school, high school age. Like, when titties, like, like you hit puberty. Oh, did he have, like, nice tits? I, I don't know. He was fat. So, I oh. mean, like, he probably, he ended with them. That would have been funnier if he was, like. Like, a, like busty ra- as hell. <laughs> Rail thin. <laughs> like, built like Violet Myers. I don't know who that is. You should do some research on her. Emily, who's Violet Myers? He's doing it right now. You got this, Ben. She's, like, one of the, she's a. She was a, the fourth highest searched porn star, I think. Are you looking her up? Right oh, now? shit. 
She was born February 24th. Oh, yeah, birthday? Is there? Uh, close. Close, yeah. King. Two days off. She looks like Pokimane. Well, they're not the same race. I don't see race, King. Okay. That's worse. Than, that's worse than being like, you know. No, I mean, that is such. If someone says that, they're racist. Yeah. Like, oh, it's black. Everything's black and white to me. <laughs> that's what they say. We live in the gray. Yeah, so that's all I really wanted to talk about with that guy. If I think if I had giant tits, too, I might do the same thing. If I had to get a breast reduction surgery. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, the guy had more problems growing up. Like, him and his mom shared a bed, like, growing up because they had one bedroom. Wait, what? And they, she would bang dudes. Like, in the, yeah, so it wasn't good. Wait, what? Yeah, there was other problems that went into him. Like, he wasn't just a serial killer because he had titties. But it didn't help, you know? <laughs> Free him. <laughs> That's just... No, he died. He was put to oh. death. He killed, He killed like, 13 women and raped, like, 15 more. All right, don't free him. Yeah. But I kind of understand it. He could have just killed his mom. Dude, if Listen, I... Norman Bates may look so easy in that. If I shared a bed with my mom and she was fucking dudes as I'm trying to get my eight hours, <laughs> I probably would have killed people, too. Yeah, I mean... It's not ideal. You can't really life. like go to college after that, right? Uh, Just imagine. He actually married his high school sweetheart, if I remember. Oh. He was married for a few, for like four or five years, but he had a lot of hits to the head. Yeah. And not like, not like me and you getting like elbowed funny, in basketball. Funny hits. No, like he he fell off a motorcycle, and that's oh. kind of when he started killing people. Okay. And he hit his head pretty hard after that. But that's not a head injury. Head injuries don't make you do that. Yeah, I guess. They make it harder to remember things, but you you get kind of funny on them. I guess that's all head injuries really do. Yeah, they make you kind of funny, and uh, your memory is not going to be that great. No. Um. Yeah, so that guy, that guy was pretty fucked up. I, but, I, you know, I don't really watch many serial killer docs. Yeah. You watch Zodiac. I watch that. Yeah. It's pretty good. Who's your top three? Like, you need three serial killers to defend you. The to re- defend the, me, bro. The, the rest are coming to get you. Um, I guess John Wayne Gacy was pretty big. He's going to have to be on my team. Yeah. Oh, this is so terrible. I don't even want any of them. <laughs> They're on your team. They're your team. I guess Zodiac Killer. Do you count like an... He didn't o- get caught, you know? So, yeah. So like he's probably old as shit though now. Well, they said they found somebody that matched it, but he's de- He's been dead for like five years or something. Yeah, but they might just be saying that like, oh, we got him. Yeah. And um. Fuck, Do- Jeffrey Dahmer, I guess. I'm gonna th- I'm gonna do a little loophole here. I'm gonna take Chris Kyle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take Chris Kyle. Well, I mean, not every serial killer was a child, so that would be very good. I'm gonna take uh, Bradley uh, Bradley Cooper playing Chris Kyle. So we just have two Chris Kyles, <laughs> two Chris Kyles and Ed Gein. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could use a lampshade. Yeah, our apartment's gonna be decorated well. Yeah, I mean, did you know that the che- Texas Chainsaw Massacre is built? Like, it was about Ed Gein. Like, they based it off him. I could see that. Yeah. I don't think... I knew that. I don't even know if I've ever seen the movie. I saw the first one, but I heard Netflix did, like, a remake, and that one was terrible. I I saw one movie that... I don't even think it was that. Oh, I'm thinking of House of Wax. I saw House of Wax, too. Chad Michael Murray? Yeah. That's who people used to say I looked like without a beard. From Clarence. Is he really? Yeah. Went to Clarence High School. I can see that now. I could see that being like a good acting school. Well, I mean, eh, he's not doing well now. I good- watched one of his Lifetime movies recently, and it was pretty fucking terrible. I love Hallmark and Lifetime movies. I like Hall. Yeah, I mean, I do too, but I can't only watch them during like Christmas, you know? Yeah. But I'll watch 15 of them. Oh, I'm, I'm okay. binging it all day. <laughs> yeah. I'm having a couple wobbly pops and yeah, the acting and goes discovering from, the true meaning of family and love and Christmas. Yeah. 
I love the one where it was these two people. Of course, it's always a small town. I watched one with Jordan Sparks in it, and that one was really bad. Really? It was so bad, dude. Not good? It, uh, it was better than the Chad Michael Murray one, but it wasn't much better. Hmm. Hit the link in the episode description and get 25% off your first purchase at CB Distillery. There's free shipping on orders of $75 or more. You can get things such as gummies, oils, chocolates, drink mixes, bombs, and even more chocolates. Shop by Benefit 2 for CBD to relax, to help sleep, for pain relief, and it's even good for your pets. There's new Delta 9 THC gummies available in states where legalized. Click that link in the episode description and or in the Instagram bio at Schema and Dream Pod to get your hoodies, t-shirts, mugs, and other such items. Or you can look for it yourself on snackspot se slash career slash teespring.com. And if you're interested in advertising on this show or a twin show, Two in the Cooler, email snackspotsports at gmail.com for details on how you can start reaching thousands of listeners in the Buffalo area and beyond. Fuck large companies. Am I thinking of Jordan Sparks? Was she the one that bodied uh, Chris Brown on Nowhere? Yeah, she did Nowhere. She bodied Chris Brown on Nowhere. It's a great. She won American Idol. And she was a good dancer. I don't know if she won Dancing with the Stars. I didn't finish that season, and I'll never get back to it. But she was in the final, like, six. You made it to the final six of a whole season of Dancing with the Stars and just called it? Yeah. All right, man, I guess. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I was done with it. That's all you needed to see? Dude, the episodes are an hour long. (laughs) I get that, but, like, I feel like if you committed that far, it's something. I didn't even Google who won. I think Wayne Brady might have. It'll remain a mystery. Wayne Brady was in the lead in my head. Adrian Bro- Brody? Is that who he said? No, good actor, though. Wayne. Yeah. Wayne Brady. He's in a I lot of... I watch the Brady Bunch. He's, <laughs> he's in a lot of rap lines. People say he's, like, white. Say a lot of people are white. He's not white, but... <laughs> My top three, if I had to guess, would go Wayne Brady, uh, one of the D'Amelio twins. I don't know which one was on. They did a good Simpsons dance. I remember that. There's a Dancing with the Stars breakdown right there for you. And Jordan Sparks was on that season? Yes. Oh, yeah, she's she's not doing music anymore, huh? No. But, uh, yeah, that Chad Michael Murray lifetime, we're going to circle back to that because I need to talk about it. Okay. He plays an angel, right? And he goes around town with this other angel, like this much older woman angel. And they're supposed to show people that don't believe in Christmas the true meaning of Christmas. And he falls in love with uh he falls in love with one of the girls. But then he's like, I can't love you, I'm an angel. So he uh he sets her up with her ex and they, they get married. Okay. This is terrible. Oh shit. What? Charlie D'Amelio won that season. Really? Wow. Fist says fans are devastated. Her uh, her show on Hulu. I don't know if it's still kicking, but I saw an episode and it was pretty terrible. Yeah, I mean I've seen her TikToks. <laughs> oh, speaking of terrible shows, before we get roasted by Emily's comments, I need to talk about the Idol. It's the weekend show on uh, on HBO mm-hmm. or Max or whatever you want to call it now. So it's got the weekend and Johnny Depp's daughter. I think Lily Rose Depp, and it's one of the worst TV shows I've ever seen in my life. Like, how bad is bad? I'm gonna say it again. It is the one of the worst TV shows. It's so bad that they HBO is announcing shows that they're like giving a new season to today. Yeah, they gave a new season to Velma and decided to cancel this show. We well, you've talked about Velma a lot. I've seen four episodes of the ten. Get back to it? I can't. I can't do it. Andrew saw the whole thing. But this show, they said, was the nobody wanted to watch the extreme content. It's mm-hmm. the guy that makes euphoria. Okay. And uh, The weekend is such an asshole on set. Really? They said he was the, wor- like, the worst. Like, Didn't attitude. he have some weird scene? They say he's an egomaniac on set. Well, yeah. He really took a stand against celebrities with... Uh... He said, I think it was like, let me see that tight little pussy or something like that. Okay. And it was like, he was like yelling at it. It like zoomed in our That sounded mouth. like That sounded like Adam Levine hitting on chicks. Yeah, it was, I mean, I watched, I watched the first episode. Because I wanted to see how bad it was. 
Because the Rotten Tomato score is like 16%. Uh-huh. And the audience score is like 18%. Like, everybody hates it. Yeah. I don't really like The Weeknd. I like some of his music. I like the Trilogy. He makes good music. Yeah. But uh, that show is just so bad. But I just hate him for that Super Bowl halftime. The sex scenes in that show are like 40 minutes of the 60 I watched. I'm not kidding. That's awful. Like, I would just rather watch porn. Yeah, than watching softcore porn. Yeah, I watched The Weeknd and Lily Rose Depp fucking fake humping. Did you know that they stick something, like, like near your, like, private parts when you're having sex? And, like, movies? Oh, so you don't, like, feel so Yeah, so penis. you, like, don't go inside of them. Makes sense. Yeah. It would be fun. Do you think people are, like... Like John Cena in Trainwreck? You ever see that movie? Yeah, I saw... Where he's, like, all sweaty and shit. <laughs> yeah. You know I've seen Trainwreck. Butt-ass naked, yeah. The oh, two, yeah, LeBron. The two best actors in that movie were LeBron and John Cena. Bill Hader third. LeBron was hilarious in that movie. LeBron was great. Yeah. I wish he just had He did not follow it up in Space Jam. I still haven't seen it, but I will see his uh, new movie, More Than a Game. More Than a Game, right? He's got Or Shooting Stars, Shooting Stars. Yeah, he's got some show on Peacock about his high school crew. Yeah, it's going to be Shooting Stars. It looks terrible. No, it's going to be good. It looks like that Bel Air show. It just looks like like a more, like, truthful Bel Air. Well, Shooting Stars was a great book. I actually read that one. Congrats on reading. Like it was a long time ago. It was pre head injury. I yeah, uh, I mean, I don't think I could watch Bel I tried to watch Bel Air. Yeah. It was like all American except worse. So then I didn't watch it ever again. I, I got wa- I got like ten minutes in. I'll watch shooting stars though. They got like actual like basketball players as actors for other basketball players. So at least they'll be able to like dunk. That doesn't mean they're going to be good at acting. Though. No, but at least in the ba- <laughs> at least in the basketball scenes, they could like hoop well. That's yeah, that's, that's all cool. I care about. But like there's so much more that he goes Scoots in, in it. There. Scoots in it. I don't I I mean he hasn't even been drafted. We don't know how good he is in the NBA and he's going to be an actor in this show. Like I don't, I don't know. I do I'll say this. He will be like a top five, top six point guard easy in the NBA two years in. And Jokic is going to score how many points against Anthony Davis in that series? 20. 19. You didn't even break 20. I didn't see it coming. I was shocked. Everybody saw it coming besides the Lakers. I didn't think Denver was that good. Everybody saw it coming besides. All you had to do was watch him play. Like this year, I found out Devin Booker was good. I just didn't believe Devin They're the Bo- one seed. I didn't believe Devin Booker was good either. But, like, a lot. Yeah, but one seed in the regular season doesn't mean the shit. The whole West was so competitive, but the Nuggets were, like, eight games up on everybody. And then they beat the shit out of every team in the playoffs. Yeah. And you were shocked? <laughs> they never did it before. <laughs> with a two-time MVP. They have the same crew. They didn't do it before. MPJ played 19 games the year before. He also got benched in the finals. Yeah, he played well and against. He cooked the Lakers. Everyone cooked the Lakers. KCP was going on eight zero runs by himself. Bruce th- Brown didn't play against the Lakers the year before. Oh yeah, he was great. They had <laughs> they had Bones Island, who I liked. But he sucks. He's all right. He's fun to watch. He had beef with Jamal. Well, yeah, Bones Highland uh, wants to go out there for 30 minutes and uh, have Mike Maloney. They would run a whole offense, and he would just get the ball and dribble it for 17 seconds and break a three. He's electric. He just wants people to yell, cook him, (laughs) and then go out there and hoop. That's kind of my style. Uh, um, So, for our 100th episode, we decided that reading comments and reacting to them would be a good way to go about it. Okay, I've... uh... Thin skin. Yeah, we're both very sensitive, so we're gonna might cry. They're not. They're not all mean. Oh, who so, got who got, made fun of, who got me fun more? You fuck. Oh, he did. Uh, well, Ben, you got made fun of a lot for the Lakers, and Jake, uh, you got made fun of for hating Kyrie Irving, which seems weird. Oh shit! But yeah, Ben's team Kyrie. <laughs> did I did I get people like being like shout, were, shout out to the ginger? <laughs> yeah, there were a couple. Okay, you want me to start? Yeah, okay, so I'll, I'll tell you, like, what the comments... I'm not going to read these people's usernames, because I don't, I don't want to... Unless they're really mean. Yeah, and then we'll go cyberbully them. Yeah, we'll cyberbully them. So this one says... This was about Ben fighting a bear. Okay. This one just says, I got confidence in my man. He looked like a fighter. 
Oh, okay. All right. So, so Ben can you know, beat a bear. We're starting off good. That off is. Good. I just feel like wow. Go I did, very I did not think I was going to get hard today. <laughs> it flinched to a little. Dude, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm glad I got someone in my... That's the only person in my corner in this. Yeah. I, yeah. There that you was go. on YouTube. These first ones are like YouTube comments. Okay. Which ones are... Where, where do we get the most hate? YouTube Honestly, or Instagram? YouTube. YouTube. People are weird on YouTube. Like, I don't know. They're... But it's the same with the other shows, too. Like, yeah, it's people on YouTube, YouTube are freaks. <laughs> who, who gets made fun of the most of all of us? It's got to be Andrew and Matt, right? Sometimes it's Matt, yeah. Because he'll yeah. just say, like, something insane. Like, that, like, Matt does spit like he'll just say, like, tapes. Bill Hader sucks. And I'm like, dude, you're going to get cooked. Like, why are you saying this? Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, I know. Bill uh, Hader's the GOAT. I know. I like Bill Hader. So this was a comment. Some of these aren't even about you guys. They're just, like, about the videos. But okay. this one, there was a highlight called, is Diddy actually bi? This guy says, no such thing as bi. He's gay. Bi is a thing women invented so they can date both genders. I feel like that guy came to our section of comments where he should have been somewhere else. Yeah. Like, I feel like he was yeah. just really wanted to put that comment somewhere. I think if you look at every comment of, like, anything out there on YouTube, there could, th- that's going to be in a Coco Melon com- that, comment. Yeah, I mean, I feel like, yeah, yeah. you could... You could do a Peppa the Pig episode, and that's going to be in there. Woman yeah. invented by. <laughs> okay, this one says, don't eat during the podcast. It's super unprofessional. Smoke or drink, but not eat. Damn. Who, who ate? Uh, was, I don't know. I, you that, guys, was, that was definitely me. This is an old clip, but he spelled damn D-A-H-M. So, you know. So he means business. Sure. <laughs> and I do smoke during the episode. Yeah. You will vape quite a few. Yeah. Happens. Um, oh, shit. I lost it. I had something. All I'm hearing is I'm not keeping the shit Where did we there. eat? Chips, probably. We haven't eaten on this in a long time. Yeah, the, we did some the of these sauce. were old. I'm going to start eating more, I think. Sure. It I'm really gonna be, I, I want to be like Nick Avocado on these. We'll start an ASMR channel. You yeah. want to do, you wanna do muk a mukbang? Fuck! Uh, we should have should a Subway mukbang. I threw on an hour-long Subway muk- mukbang. There you Ooh. go. Get some cookies. <laughs> get some cookies. Get uh, you a bunch of different subs. Uh, I only eat one. <laughs> just the same sub so over and over. You get the same. Su- how many? How many times do you think you've ordered that same exact sub in your life? I go about twice a week. For how, how long have you been doing that for? Twice a week now, probably for the last. Maybe maybe it ratios out to like one and a half times a week. Probably since I moved uh-huh. into my apartment. How long have you been living in your apartment? Like three, four years. And then before that, I would probably go to Subway like every other week. So in 156 weeks in the year, you've gone to Subway once or twice? Yeah, closer to twice. (laughs) So that's insane. So I get the steak. So you've gotten like 300. You've gotten this sub over 300 sometimes. Oh, yeah. I'd probably say in my life I've probably been pushing. I probably may have got. This might be my thousandth sub when I go today. <laughs> when you <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. I'm going to keep them going. Okay. So this guy commented two comments on the same video. Ooh, okay. This is about Kyrie. Is this the only comment on the video? Um, is it just him twice? I think so. Yeah. Oh, he's not replying to anybody. This is just, yeah, two separate he's comments. Not pit- he's just pissed about yeah. Kyrie. So uh, he said, this Kyrie hater keeps interrupting people. This energy isn't going to get your channel far. Other guy had common sense. Thank J- you. JQ being the Kyrie hater. Yeah. What's up, you fucking And idiot. then he just said, calling a man dumb. For what? <laughs> ah, I like I like that guy. <laughs> so there was that. I'm glad I got common sense. Yeah. I guess. I mean, <laughs> sense to make dollars, and I got a couple dollars. How does it make you feel that you're a martyr for Kyrie Irving's Nazi movie? It's just a movie. It's not. I watched it. Shaq played it. No one's gonna cancel Shaq. Shaq's already in trouble with the crypto thing, so you know, just let him do his thing. Yeah, but I he didn't know. He's also in trouble about. for the Home Depot girl. He got. He just responded, "Hey, it's Big Shaq. Tell your boyfriends I she said hi." She got doxxed and quit her job because they found her address. <laughs> That's not his fault. Eh. The attention. She posted it. Yeah, she posted not thinking Shaq would, re- would quote it. Yeah, but <laughs> she posted the screenshot with Shaq, right? I don't think so. No, she just posted the picture. Of Shaq DMing her? She yeah, just, Shaq DMed her. She could have just kept that. Yeah. Okay, so then we got... Did you guys ever see all the comments on the Timothy Chalamet clip? 
No. No. Because there were a few. Uh, Are they good or bad or bad? Uh, they're like teenage girls threatening you. Oh. Which one of us is getting threatened? Both. It's just oh, in general. Fuck. So one girl said, this is all about you like making fun of not knowing who Timothy Chalamet is. That's bad. One girl said, this is a hate crime. And then, and then she also said, you better apologize. Uh, and then another girl said, never bully my husband again because I could make so a lot still, of comments about yeah. you. Still you, Ben. Okay. Yeah. Well, so I think you should apologize. There were some poor, angry women. Poor women. Poor woman. Um, just ask her what she really thinks. What the fuck does that mean? She said she's got some comments about me. I want to hear them. That's true. Okay, maybe. so what's her what's her name? Oh, God. <laughs> Can you give us her first name? Alexa. Alexa, if you're watching this again and don't hate us deeply, uh... Can you please just leave us your comments about Ben's appearance on Alexa, our, our YouTube feed? <laughs> Alexa, keep in mind I'm six foot five. Yeah, and he's got really he's really sensitive, so please. I am a Pisces. Don't be too harsh, but let him know what you think. I'm a six five Pisces. Yeah. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> um, okay, let's see what else I got. Is this still on Timothy Charlemagne? No, those were all the ones because then, like a week after, we did a video called "An Apology to Timothy Chalamet," oh, okay. and so I think that we the like saga continued. Yeah. I don't think I apologized. Though. You did apologize because you guys you found out that, that he using. like decked out like PlayStation controllers or something. Yeah, oh, yeah. Too. And yeah, then yeah, you guys were like, "No, he's cool." And he was all right in the uh, Leo movie. <laughs> Which one? The one where he was that scientist. Oh, the, started don't banging look up. the weather woman. Don't yeah. look up. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. He's good in every. He movie was funny. Yeah, he's funny in that movie. I just saw Lady Bird with him in it. Ooh. That movie was good. Then there was the clip about Ben's circumcision. Again, one guy commenting multiple times. He I said, would be good to hear a circumcision debate. And then the other comment said, is the circumcision a joke? Would be good to hear a debate about it. See, so I guess I guess we can. Do you want? <laughs> yeah. Um, you know. Are you uh, pro-choice on the circumcision? Like waiting until someone's like 16 to 18 to do it? No. I feel like that would really hurt. I feel like their first time, say your first time playing sports is in middle school and you get changed in the locker room, you're going to get bullied. Yeah. It's going to, like, imagine you're going to, like, swim class and you got to get, like, stripped down. Yeah. And they see your dick just, like, bandaged up at, like, 17. Like, that's going to be, it's going to be terrifying for everybody involved. Yeah, you're ready to lose your V-card and... But, uh, so yeah, I mean, that guy, uh, really, really in the circumcision debates. Yeah, uh, I think he left another comment on, like, the full episode or something, basically saying the same thing. And yeah, I, <laughs> I hope he gets what he needs, uh, yeah. but I don't know if we can provide the help that he's looking for here. Maybe he's still bitter. All I'm taking away from this is teenage girls hate me. Yep. I have common sense. Yep. And I could fight a bear. How about that? And Things are going well for Ben so far? <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling great about myself. I I feel like the Kyrie thing was... Uh, maybe not Maybe not who you want to get compliments from. Yeah, that's definitely not the audience that you want I'll to take it. For. I'm kind of... I'm pro Kyrie. I'll stand on that. I wouldn't. Okay, so now we have some from Instagram. That guy definitely listens to Alex Jones. Too. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't? We're an Alex Jones podcast. We true. support everything Alex Jones. Does. Nope, nope. I, I, I won't. Do, I won't do that. Just one. select things. You know, if he talks about gay frogs, I'll laugh at it. But if he talks about Sandy Hook again, I'm not gonna, not gonna laugh or enjoy it because he, uh, he lost and he deserved to. I think. Yeah. Sometimes I forget I'm on camera. Yeah. <laughs> so now we have Instagram ones, and Ben. A lot of these are from your mom. <sighs> Don't fuck. Read every comment from <laughs> No, Colleen. they're 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 not bad. First okay, first one is just clarifying. All she says is for the record, baby is a teething toy, not a dog toy. Okay. So, so there you go. Wait, so I had a teething toy. Yeah, I mean like it's, it's but it was from, made for kids. It's made from like when you're a baby and your teeth start coming in. Yeah, and you need to chew on stuff. I didn't get that toy when I was a baby, I don't think. <laughs> Were you like eight? <laughs> <laughs> I had to have been a little older. What do you think is the most disgusting thing babies seen? Like, if it could talk, what do you think is the boy got traumatized? His first words would be, shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then this one just says, you decided to make a podcast with your friend when you were drunk, didn't you? I don't know if that's true, but I also... How did this show come to be? Um, not really sure. 
just sort of happened, and now we're here. Yeah, Andrew was like, hey, you guys want to do this? And we are like, yeah, why not? Sure. I was drinking. We were drinking, though. <laughs> it, it, was was over, it was over dinner. Yeah, it was over dinner. We both drank it. Margaritas. Dinner. Yep. I think I had a Miami Vice. <laughs> I think I had three margaritas at dinner. You did? I, I'm a three margarita dinner guy. Which, girl, that teenage girl would say that's a red flag. She's going to give you a bunch of beige flags, I think. That's a red flag. Um. All right, let's rattle off like two more. Okay, yeah. So this was one from an episode that John was on. Oh, God. Um, people were not oh, happy. Oh, it was the Kobe the, joke. Yeah, they were pissed. Someone said, now nah, that Kobe joke is OD can't lie. Too soon. Whoever had the Kobe joke needs to get smacked, and whoever said the earth was flat needs to get an education. Which was you, Jake. I said the earth oh. was flat. And they said, you're fucking stupid thinking the earth is flat. Nice. <laughs> really? Yeah, we go a record that I'm not a real flat earther. Is Yeah, like, obviously. I don't know. That marker's not moving. This isn't moving. You convinced me. <laughs> See? This can is empty right now, right? Pour some more in there. Spin. Uh, we got time for one more? Or we yeah, yeah. Time? So this two. was just one uh, that I had been looking for for a while. Uh oh. It is... was about the Lakers. Uh, some guy said, "Oh yeah, bro said Lakers are most complete team in basketball. Denver Nuggets must have vanished. Laker, uh, oh, bro, oh. who let these guys cook? Oof." And then in a similar way. Why one, not these guys cook? I, I bash the Lakers <laughs> on here every time. I know. You're just getting grouped in. I deserve that. That's this on isn't me. a Lakers podcast. That's on me. <laughs> That's on me. Hey, what's that guy's first name? Uh, I scrolled past it. Hold on. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Someone said Ben should play the next Thor. Oh. Is Thor fat again? Dude. I... Uh, maybe. <laughs> I feel all right. Oh, someone also was like, when you were talking about Ben Roethlisberger, they were like, what's all the hate for Big Ben recently? Uh, he like, rapes. He what raped are you two talking women. about? He raped two <laughs> like, women in an offseason. One yeah. in the bathroom stall. He raped two. He deserved the uh, motorcycle accident. Yeah, right, he's, exactly. He's a piece of shit. And then the last one that I wanted to read, again, I think was about the Lakers. <laughs> uh, about the guy who was like a DoorDash driver or whatever. Oh, Matt Ryan. Matt yeah. Ryan. And someone said, this is the conversation between two surface level hoops fans. How do, if we were surface level, how would we know that that guy delivered DoorDash? And yeah, him? I have, I had no idea who that was. I mean, that's fair. I didn't play college ball. And yeah, Kodo. He said hoop fans. Like all you have to do is watch a TV to be a fan. Right. Yeah, but I like the surface level comparison. <laughs> what would you need to do to be a deeper understanding as a fan? I don't know. Buy a jersey. How many LeBron James jerseys have you bought in your life? Um, I had one OG Cleveland. You had the White Hot. I had the White. The White Hot was sick. Yeah. Your brother ruined it at a fucking concert. Ruined it. He stole it. I then wore it to a concert and tried giving it back to me with stains all over it. Yeah, he's not a very calm drinker. No, and then I had a black one. I had a black Miami, black and red Miami one. And then I had uh, 23 Lakers one. So who were you rooting for in the finals? What Were you, you rooting for the Heat? What, this year? Yeah. I was rooting for my bets to hit. But if you have two Heat jerseys, like, wouldn't you root for the franchise? I was kind of pulling for them. Just because you wanted your Jokic take to be right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would have talked shit about him. Okay, I have one more last one. Oh, here we go. Who's this making fun of? Uh, this is again from Ben's mom. Oh, no. Nice. She said, never wished I swallowed you. Who else makes me laugh as hard as you? Love you, Ben. Thank you. So, uh, congrats <laughs> on not getting swallowed. I guess so. <laughs> At least your mom thought about it. I had a swallow. <laughs> uh, any closing thoughts on our 100th episode? Um, Anything you learned here? I learned that I can fight a bear. Yeah, that one guy is really pulling for you. He's going to wake up to a headline one day, man killed fist fighting bear would be like fuck that was my guy no me and the bear would die yeah man man killed bear if i'm also if, dead if i'm going to hell the bear's coming with me i picture you killing it and then like having the shit so bad and like shitting your brains out and dying in the bush and everyone's gonna be like oh he died fighting the bear okay i would i don't know i don't know but i think i would i think your butthole is gonna be the reason you die hopefully 
That's all I've learned here. Hopefully. All right. Go Bills. Go Bills.